We will talk about five most common causes of slow heart rate or bradycardia. What means bradycardia? It means when heart rate is less than 60 per minute. Around 2% of general population, healthy population, has bradycardia and they have no symptoms and they considered healthy and bradycardia in this case is considered normal and such people usually are physically fit people and when symptoms occur of bradycardia symptoms are fatigue, dizziness, chest pain, shortness of breath and fainting and first and most common cause of bradycardia or slow heart rate is aging aging accounts around 35% of cases of bradycardia during aging all cells are die gradually and impulse gen electrical impulse generating cells also dying during aging in the heart and it causes slow heart rate and what are the top symptoms of bradycardia during aging it's dizziness when people feel unsteady or off balance and lightheadedness when person has sensation of faint and fatigue chronic fatigue it can can be because of bradycardia and what is most important during aging lifestyle factors are important how healthy is diet if person avoids smoking how physically active is person uh, and how is her hydration what medications she or he intakes is very important so lifestyle factors are important genetics is important and bradycardia occurs usually after 60 and for some people after 70 if there is a very prominent bradycardia and is not managed by environmental factors such as lifestyle factors such as physical activity healthy diet and healthy hydration then implantation of pacemaker is solution and pacemaker is implanted under the skin uh, at left side uh, lower the, below the collarbone and its solution at this case second most common cause of bradycardia is heart disease and in heart disease especially ischemic heart disease and heart failure what happens in both the both conditions uh, in both conditions there is damage of heart tissue and when we have damage also there is damage of electrical system of heart and we have bradycardia what, what are the symptoms of this heart disease if there is ischemic heart disease most common symptom is chest pain or physical exertion when person is when person has physical activity then this person has chest pain and it is called angina and people with ischemic heart disease commonly have angina they have chest pain on physical activity on physical exertion and what is the diagnosis diagnosis is made by EKG results and stress test and angiography uh, which uh, reveals which blood vessels are narrowed and if uh, how, how effectively they are working so angi uh, angiography is important test when person has ischemic heart disease and what is the treatment treatment is nitrates nitrates dilates blood vessel and uh, it allows more uh, blood flow and it reduces uh, oxygen demand also on the heart and beta blockers and calcium channel blockers are important also but these beta blockers and calcium channel blockers which are first line treatment of uh, ischemic heart disease they can exacerbate bradycardia they can cause bradycardia that's why we should be careful at this case uh, and close monitoring is important if person intakes beta blockers and cal calcium channel blockers and this person has bradycardia uh, treatment of uh, ischemic heart disease usually is angioplasty also and stenting and if it requires bypass surgery which is very invasive surgery and difficult and complex surgery if person has heart failure uh, what means heart failure it means that heart is unable to pump blood effectively is heart failure 
and when person has heart failure has shortness of breath of course bradycardia is and shortness of breath is exacerbated when person lying down and fatigue and weakness along swelling uh, in the legs ankles and feet and it is called edema and fluid in the lungs and person can have chronic coughing also and uh, at this case uh, at this case uh, bradycardia can be very prominent and pacemaker can be solution when person has uh, when person has uh, heart failure and during heart failure we have uh, in uh, when we diagnose heart failure uh, ultrasound heart ultrasound is very uh, useful test and we can see that there is a large heart in many cases there is enlarged heart and heart wall can be sickened or can be seen uh, it depends on type of heart failure sometimes it's sickened sometimes it's opposite seen but in many cases heart is enlarged during heart failure third most common cause of uh, slow heart rate is medications it accounts around 25 percent of cases Usually, antihypertensive medications and antiarrhythmic medications causes bradycardia, such as beta blockers, for example, such as atenolol and metaprolol, or calcium channel blockers, uh, diltiazem and verapamil, digoxin, for example, for heart failure. Digoxin is used for heart failure, but it causes uh, bradycardia. Amiodarone, for example, is uh, it's antiarrhythmic drug which causes also bradycardia uh, and what is the treatment at this case if there is medication induced bradycardia the reduction or changing of medication is recommended if not possible then permanent implantation is recommended first most common cause is hypothyroidism what means hypothyroidism when thyroid gland is not released enough and is not produced enough thyroxine uh, thyroid hormone and when low thyroxine and low uh, thyroid hormone we have slow metabolism and when we have slow metabolism we have bradycardia and solution at this case is levothyroxine which is synthesized hormone and it's hormone replacement therapy actually and it increases body metabolism and it increases also uh, heart rate and in 50 per 15 percent of cases sleep apnea also can cause bradycardia especially nighttime bradycardia is caused by sleep apnea it's very important and obesity causes and being overweight causes sleep apnea in many cases so weight loss is solution here avoiding sleeping on your back and sleeping on your side is important also avoid alcohol and sedative medication is important um, yeah. so uh, if there is no effects then surgery is solution in severe cases and other but less common causes are electro electrolyte imbalance which can cause also bradycardia uh, during kidney disease for example and infection disease also can cause bradycardia such as lyme disease for example and supplements which supplement can help during bradycardia omega-3 fatty acids can have cardioprotective function and they can modulate uh, heart rate in some cases coenzyme q10 also helps energy production in the cell and can also improve heart rate L carnitine also it's amino acid and it's also helpful in some cases it also helps for energy generation in heart cells and magnesium is effective if there is magnesium deficiency and potassium and calcium sometimes effective because they also play important role of electric signal formation and transmission um that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now